My name is Randy Becker. I'm with Keysight Technologies. We're here at IMS 2018. Today I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of our 5G testbed for design validation used for testing base stations. Over here we have our vector signal generator. We actually have two signal generators installed into our modular uh, mainframe. One signal is used uh, is our uh, 5G new radio signal at 28 gigahertz. Uh, with a uh, one component carrier, 100 megahertz uh, bandwidth. The other signal generator is generating an unwanted CW interfere to see how well our device under test can reject unwanted, unintentional interference that may be at the same frequency, a different frequency with any given amplitude that we wish to test with. Over here is our device under test, which is a 256 element phased array antenna operating at 28 gigahertz. The output of the phased array antenna is uh, not down converted, it's also at 28 gigahertz. This is fed into the vector signal analyzer where we down convert, digitize, and then we can make any number of measurements uh, on that signal. On the screen we have a, uh, our VSA software running and you can see a number of different measurements. In the upper left, you see the constellation diagram. So this signal is, in fact, using 256 QAM. Here you can see the spectrum overlaid with the CCDF curve, which is important for uh, 5G new radio signals uh, have very high crest factors. We have a breakdown of the EVM. We can even see the EVM uh, by each individual channel type. We're also looking at the errors as a function of time as well as a function of frequency. So if we had some uh, unwanted interference or we're doing some troubleshooting, we'd be able to pinpoint uh, very quickly and accurately where that was coming from. We also see the detected uh, resource block allocation, so we have a full picture of how the uh, new radio signal is distributed across time and frequency, and we also see an overview of the overall channel response, both in amplitude and phase. And if I bring your attention right here, you'll see then the error vector spectrum trace a peak appearing and that is from our unwanted uh, CW interfere. So we can easily see that in the trace when the antenna is uh, pointed at it and one of my fingers not in the way. Uh, but you'll note that we don't see it in the spectrum trace. So it's a low level spur that is causing problems with the signal and we're able to pick it up uh, by using one of these uh, measurements. Down below we're actually automating these measurements with a uh, uh, the Keysight Pathwave test uh, application and we're taking all of this data from the VSA and uh, archiving it in a database and then we can review, we can uh, analyze the results using any number of different uh, tools. As an example, we took the channel power measurement data and are displaying it as a function of azimuth and elevation and we're able to get a 3D picture of what the actual antenna pattern uh, looks like for this particular uh, device. So it's a very powerful uh, tool for uh, design validation. You have the ability to do in-depth troubleshooting, and you also have the ability to automate and make millions of measurements to cover all the corner cases of your device under test. For any additional information on these products or other Keysight equipment, visit keysight.com. Thanks for watching.